Hi, welcome back to my Kingdoms of Amalar series, where we are playing as Salty, the elf, and we are continuing on our adventure. Look at, I just got a update. Oh, God. All right, I guess it's time to level up. I haven't done this in a fat minute. Blacksmith thing. Of course, I'm going to get our blacksmith thing out. All right. So I'm building my character on the three things, sorcery, finesse, and might, because why not? I mean, I feel like I should do that, but, um, he's going to need to level up his that, and then get some of dagger up, then... God, it's so pointless because I just need to get that thing. And yeah. All right, let's keep going. Told them we needed more gods. Yeah, fuck you. You, I remember you. You're, you're the one. You're a traitor. How did you come back? How did you find me here? When I saw you with Ensel in the well, I ran. But it wasn't because I was afraid. I was coming to report that Hughes' experiment had succeeded. The Well of Souls is bigger than just one gnome's pet project. My contact pays well for information about its progress. I just send reports to make some money on the side. But I don't know how the Tawatha found out. This has nothing to do with them. I never wanted anyone to get hurt. Pay me and you live. I never meant for anyone to get hurt. But at this point, what's a little more blood on my hands? Any items? No, you're just a weak little shit. <laughs> You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agarth. Maybe you can help an old fate weaver, eh? Yeah, of course. Hughes sent me to Did find he? you. Poor old Fomerus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. What makes you think he's dead? The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work. <clears throat> but Hughes' success would come on the day of his death. He took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. That's okay, I was dead too. You, you're the one. <laughs> then that means it all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the Grave Digger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself, they're coming. Oh, 
it off. What? How? <coughs> what are you? The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? I don't know. I just, just did it. Fate is the will of the gods. No mortal should be able to change it. How is that even possible? Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threads, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. I'd rather not. Don't worry. It's quick, it doesn't hurt, and there's no charge. And after what I've seen, I'm not letting you out of my sight until I have an answer. Fine, show me my face. You're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much. I'm really much. I am. Me. But still, <laughs> I've never seen someone whose fate was just missing. Not even when I was drunk as the King of Ballads. This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it. Then your path is yours to determine. Seeker. Yes. What does this mean? It could mean nothing. Or it could mean everything. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that. Or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings. But we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. What could this all mean? in halls of lore, there echoes none more grand than Olain's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden knot. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day. crowding so close. Go back to your business. Go on. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's savage like this. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade, likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a Fae. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. 
Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. I'd like to well, help. you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I am a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a fae will know how to heal a fae. If not, then we're back where we started. Oh. Bye now. I sound like I already know about the fast travel stuff. I feel like only good games have fast travel. Interesting. You're not at all what I expected to find here. You killed Arden! Oh, is that the name of this fate weaver? No. The Tuatha I was following killed him. I was hoping his corpse would give me an idea of why they were here. Now I know. They were hoping to find you. Oh, no reason. At least not one you have to worry about. I'm not going you, anywhere. You have no idea who I am, do you? This is starting to make sense. But no time for introductions now. The Tuatha are still on the move. I'm certain that we'll see one another again soon. Be on your way. What happened here? Warren's dead. How did this happen? There was a woman here. If so, then I sure didn't see her. I was hoping to avoid this, but I think I'm going to have to take you to Delok. Where's Delok? It's a sacred place to weave fate weavers. Somewhere that I was hoping to avoid. I was hoping Arden could take you, but I guess it comes down to me. No reason getting anyone else killed over it. Go, I'll meet you there. Once I give Arden a proper funeral. This is twice now I've buried the bodies left in your wake.
All right. I'm gonna call it good for that. That was fun. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. Deuces.